Hi, it's Dan Lesniak, the broker of Optima Realty and the best-selling author of the Hyperlocal, Hyperfast Real Estate Agent. Today I want to discuss an uh, important topic, sometimes is neglected, it's, it's um, how to take a vacation as a real estate agent. So a lot of agents, when they start out or you know, even as they're several years or decades into their career, they just always seem overworked and don't get enough time off and you know, that's a way to lead to burnout. Uh, stress, you know, not sustaining long-term growth, and not fulfilling your, your client's needs. Because if, you, if you're not getting adequate time off, you're not going to be able to be your best self, and, and you're not, you're not going to grow your business and help your clients the best is, that you can. And anybody can take a vacation from an agent starting out to an agent who's been doing it for several years and has a big team, a brokerage. Um, the key is to get enough business that you can you know, start to leverage and outsource some of the um, activities that don't give you the greatest return on your time or enjoyment on your time. So um, you know, if, you're, if you're a solo agent and don't have um, anyone else working for you yet, you know, the quick solution to that would be to hire temporary help, have them take over you know, your showings, your contract to close, um, maybe even some of your prospecting and lead generation while you're gone and, and, and you know, use them as a, as on a temp basis or there's even virtual assistance you can do to help with that. Um, but again, that, that's kind of like a short term uh, issue. You know, if, if you're really doing two, three uh, deals per month, you should probably hire uh, an administrative assistant and start to really, um, you know, delegate some of your activities. If you can get that person licensed, even better. Um, introduce them to your clients early on in the process, and this this goes for people that have uh, bigger teams as well. So you want to make sure that uh, when you're meeting with your sellers or buyers, that you tell them up front. You know, that you've got administrative support, you've got it, or, or, or a team behind you. Introduce them to your assistant or you know, your showing agent or listing coordinator, whoever you have on your team that will be helping them the most. Introduce them to them and have that person start to take over you know, a lot of the key details up front so that the buyer doesn't, or the seller, whoever it is, doesn't feel like you know, you're just handing them off all of a sudden halfway through the process. Um, and then really make sure that you train those people um, to be able to, uh, you know, help your clients. And you want that person to, uh, or, or people, or, or uh, you know, whoever it is, to, to, you know, take over the day-to-day -day activities of clients. Um, you know, if your team is bigger, you may have marketing assistants or marketing coordinators. Uh, you'll definitely want them to keep up the lead gen efforts while you're on vacation. Um, you know, you may have to do work in a little bit of uh, prospecting while you're taking time off if, if you don't have a big enough support system and team yet. Um, you know, if you do have to do that, you know, maybe maybe cut back a little from what you normally do. Uh, you know, if you're spending three to four hours a day, uh, you know, prospecting on the phone, I definitely don't think you should be doing that on your vacation. I would. You know, maybe do it every other day and cut it back to an hour or two. Um, you know, you, you never want to quit prospecting. So, ideally, you would have have systems in place and people in place to to do prospecting and lead generation while you're on vacation. Um, but if you don't, you know, have that yet. Uh, one, you sh you should, and, and you should work on starting developing it. And, and two, um, you know, you can still retain that. Uh, I would definitely have, you know, inbound calls routed to uh, to uh, assistants or key team members while you're gone, uh, and, and you want to you want to make sure that you're, you know, giving them the authority, giving them the responsibility to uh, solve problems for your clients while you're away. Um, the key to all of this, though, is to just developing um, so much business and so much leads that you you, you know have the, um, the amount of volume and, and income coming in that you can you know, 
delegate and hire um, so that you can you know, take time off, be your best self, and deliver the best results for your clients. Uh, hope that helps. Uh, I've got more tips on how to do this in, in the uh, Hyper Local, Hyper Fast Real Estate Agent and the Companion Guide as well. I mean, it really focuses on how to take a, s a small area and dominate it so that you, you know, have the resources to implement the systems and people you know, needed to live a balanced life, have a great business, and serve your clients best. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.